Ah uh, yes, look at these cute unassuming vans bearing the FedEx name that deliver your packages on time, sometimes. If you're not feeling well, I'm sorry. Yes, I can have that ready for you and you'll be stopping in to pick it up. Oh, you'll stop in tomorrow. They're accused of being the largest odometer rollback fraud in history, which is no small feat considering. The U.S. Department of Transportation estimates that more than 450,000 vehicles are sold annually with false auto readings and the crime cost buyers more than one billion with a B dollars annually. We'll dig into how against all odds they got caught and how they're not the only company starting with an F, I'm looking at you Ferrari, that has been caught for rolling back more than just prices. I'm Brad, this is Blinker Fluid, let's go. Let's start here to really drive the delivery home. <laughs> FedEx uses trucks built from several different manufacturers, including Mercedes, Freightliner, and GM. But the truck they mainly use is the Ford F-59. You've seen it before. And one with under 4,000 miles is worth a little over 70 grand. Now, that exact same truck, but with 100,000 on the Odo, is worth $30,000 less. Mileage matters. What supposedly was happening is FedEx drivers were driving these trucks hard and putting them away wet. Once they hit a few hundred thousand miles, FedEx would freshen them up and toss a new odometer that read zero. Then they'd run them for another year or two and sell them at auction with an odometer reading way less than the actual mileage. You and I are thinking the same thing. You should subscribe and hit the like button because it helps us out, but also that you should easily be able to plug into the van's computer and see actual mileage. But that's where it gets a little bit sticky. See, since the vans were sold at auction, according to Tom Layton, the original plaintiff in 2017, he states you cannot check out auction vehicles with OBD scanners or any other engine scan tools because the auctions prohibit these tools on their property. And that is a problem. Plus, almost all these vans are purchased online, so you really only have the condition reports to go off of. Now guys, what's scary, well, scarier than this mullet, is that one of the vans that he purchased had an indicated 180,000 miles on it. But when an OBD scanner was plugged in, the real mileage was close to 400,000. And guys, this crime hurt a lot of unassuming people. Quick question, what has four wheels and flies? Yeah, it was my favorite local taco truck. And they bought a used low mile FedEx van. And I say it was because they had to close their shop not long after they opened, since the uh, low mileage van actually had hundreds of thousands of miles more on it than what they were led to believe, which led to catastrophic failure. See, the largest odometer fraud in history has hurt a ton of people, including my taco life. And I wanna talk about it because it wasn't the first time a big F-bomb was dropped in the automotive world. The more than you can afford, pal. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. Ferrari has been accused of some rollbacks. Now, Ferrari is one of the most exclusive brands in the world. And I can't think of a brand where the lower the mileage, the higher the price. And that right there is the problem because Ferraris are some of the most engaging, visceral, and for lack of better word, fun cars to drive. Check out this 2015 Ferrari La Ferrari. An F car so good, it has Ferrari in its name twice. And after an owner enjoyed it for thousands of miles and smiles, it went in for a service. In exchange for a large wad of cash, a DEIS tester was plugged in, meant to reset malfunctioning odometers. And the La Ferrari's odometer magically read zero again. A LaFerrari that enjoyed 24,000 miles recently sold for $2.2 million. The exact same hypercar with less than 200 miles on it sold for $3.9 million. I thought I was mad knowing mileage could make a $30,000 difference on a FedEx van, but could you imagine if you paid almost $4 million for a car and then found out that the odometer was tampered with? Well, Ferrari, they were slapped on the wrist quietly added passcodes to all their vehicle's computers, stating that officially, as of today, Ferrari Spa will no longer supply the DEIS access codes for the NQS ECU reset cycle for Ferrari service departments. And as a result, the odometer reset to zero functionality is being removed from the DEIS tester. Now, you remember the old analog odometers? Yeah, they were as easy to cheat as a Walmart rollback. But you would think in this new digital age, things would get a lot more secure. But for just over 200 bucks, you can stop your mileage from going 
up. Let's say you have a newer Mustang. Once you plug in this device, you don't get any error messages and you can activate it by pressing a single button and you can turn it on and off at any time. And again, your Mustang with 20,000 miles is worth just over 50K and your Mustang with 200 is worth 20K more. Mileage matters. So if you don't wanna get scammed buying a low mileage car, you gotta promise me that you do this one thing. But before you do that one thing, we just launched a new free workshop on ideal car strategies. Empower yourself with expert knowledge, helping you find the right car, negotiate effectively, and understand financial options that will save you thousands. Join the thousands of enthusiasts like you and me that have already gone through the free workshop. Look at cars in a whole new light. I'll link to the free workshop down in the description. And the one thing that we do cover in it, that is the one thing you have to promise me that you do do every time you buy a vehicle, is get a pre-purchase inspection or a PPI. Now here's five very good reasons as to why. First, it reveals hidden problems. A PPI can uncover potential issues that aren't apparent from visual inspections or test drives. This can include problems with the engine, transmission, or other critical components. Also, it verifies the condition. A PPI will confirm whether the vehicle is in the condition as described by the seller. It can also reveal if the car has been in any unreported accidents or had major repairs. Also, negotiation, negotiation, negotiation. Yes, when a PPI uncovers issues, you will be able to negotiate a lower price to cover the cost of repairs, and then some. Also, peace of mind. Knowing the car's actual condition before buying it gives you peace of mind, knowing that you're making a good investment. And lastly, you can spot mileage and consistencies. A trained technician will be able to tell if the vehicle has been used much more than the odometer reads. And a good scan tool can show mileage discrepancies between the odometer and the ECU or the engine computer and the body control module. Modern cars store mileage data in more than one place, which helps combat this issue. Remember, if a deal seems to be too good to be true, well, it probably is. And this is exactly why over 450,000 cars every year are sold that have fraudulent odometers and why this crime is a billion dollar industry every single year. Now, come here. As for FedEx, we'll see how this all shakes out. But from the looks of it, the unreliable carrier that gets you your package roughly 25% of the time has some explaining to do. So let us know if you've ever been a victim of odometer fraud down in the description below. Also, please like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and check out this Ideal video up here or whatever YouTube recommends you watch next. I'm Brad, this is Ideal, and promise me one thing, keep living the Ideal lifestyle. <laughs>